guys thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video it's the latest on trend with your girl the yummy big up yourself <laughs> it has been a minute guys let's talk about chrissy because she is back in the headlines and it's not looking good i feel like every time chrissy is in the headlines it's never for good things i don't know what it is it's like she doesn't have positive vibes to me but let's talk about what has been happening because just a few hours after she issued a lengthy apology after all tweets resurfaced it was very lengthy i mean i started reading it and i was thinking if I didn't have to report, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't even have taken the time to read all of that because I personally struggle with reading long comments, messages, etc. It was very, very long. Now, Michael Costello, who is a designer, shared that he was also a victim of Chris's bullying. This was back in 2014. In a detailed post, Michael released alleged messages between the two in which she alleged told him he deserved to die and suffer because he was a racist. This was after a comment went viral and alleged that Michael used the N-word during an exchange with a boutique owner. Though he denied it and insisting that the comment was photoshopped, Michael stated Chris's comment drove him to the brink of suicide. These are all allegations. Apparently he also refused to dress black celebrities in his clothes. He is also getting dragged because he is allegedly the same man who bullied Kylie when she had this whole incident where she bought a dress and she didn't tag the designer which he also did himself he is also the same one who made jokes about lizzo's weight someone has said there is a video of him calling a black female designer the n-word it was all over the internet a few years back i know her and i saw the video myself so now he's paying the price i'm not sure if this is the incident or this is about something else all in all what people were stating is that he is no saint himself he did exactly the same thing he had bought a dress um, and he never tagged the designer during that whole situation this was about five years ago Beyonce even had cut ties with the designer also now let's just quickly have a look at what he had posted on his social media I know you didn't expect to see me in the middle of this video have you subscribed to the channel if you haven't this is just a quick break from the video I know you guys are enjoying it if you haven't yet make sure you hit the subscribe button hit your notification bell so that you are notified whenever I post. Enjoy the rest of the video. I do want to put out a trigger warning because this is very sensitive and can be triggering. So do carry on watching at your own discretion. He says, I didn't want to do this, but I cannot be happy until I speak my mind. I need to heal. And in order for me to do that, I must reveal what I've been going through. I wanted to kill myself and I still am traumatized, depressed and have thoughts of suicide. Right. Then he goes on to explain what happened. He says, for the past seven years, I've lived with a deep unhealed trauma. I didn't share this with anyone because I was in fear, in fear of losing some of my most profitable brand relationships, in fear of losing friends and allies, and in fear of being blacklist, blocklisted even more by the power who run the industry. I mean, I think he was pretty much cancelled at one point and did lose a lot of relationships but okay and he says in 2014 i received a public comment from chrissy on my instagram page accusing me of being a racist she apparently formed her own opinion of me based on a photoshop comment floating around the internet which has now been proven to be false by instagram and since taken down when i reached out to chrissy to communicate that i was the victim of a vindictive cyber slander and that any everything Thing she thought I was is not who I am she told me that my career was over and that all my doors will be shut and wow did she live up to her words throughout the next few years I would book jobs only to be pulled off last minute with no explanation I'd regularly get texts and calls from how from our mutual friends and colleagues that her and Monica Rose, a powerful stylist in fashion, have gone out of their way to threaten people and brands that if they weren't in any shape or form associated with me, they would not work with any of them. Each time I have pleaded with Chrissy or Monica to see the whole story before believing a false narrative, a former disgruntled employee cast upon me, they didn't give me 
the time of day. So many nights I stayed awake wanting to kill myself. I didn't even see the point of living. There was no way I could ever escape from being tar the target of the powerful elites in Hollywood who actually do have powers to close doors with a single text. Not only was I the target of cyber defamation, I was also getting blacklisted in real life. He continues to talk about what happened. Let me just skip forward. Um, let's have a look at some of the text message that went on between them. He says, Chrissy, can I call you? She says, no, I do not have anything to say to you. You will get what's coming to you. He says, Chrissy, I've never called anyone the N-word. Those fake images were photoshopped from a formal disgruntled employee. She says, good luck with that. Hope that story keeps your already dead career going. And then he says, call me. Then he puts out the number. He says, I am suffering from this more than you can imagine. So many people are attacking me over this. It's a fake story, but your comment is adding more fuel to the fire. And then she says, good, racist people like you deserve to suffer and die. You might as well be dead. Your career is over. Just watch. Now, um, I don't know if I'm going to post the picture with his number on there, but this is, he put this on his Instagram, guys. Like, I don't know why he would not scribble out the number when he decided to put out these receipts but that is the message and then he says you do not have to say anything mean or hurtful about them in the comments i'm trying every day to love myself and forget this happened this is step one i'm going to be honest because i don't really know much of him but from the sound of it it doesn't seem like he's had a very good reputation in terms of his behavior character things that he said so from what i have read he doesn't seem to be very innocent in himself i don't know how i feel about chrissy wishing death on him like i'm one of those people that like you can do whatever you want to do to me there's certain things that i just wouldn't be able to release from my mouth like i couldn't be i couldn't curse somebody like this personally for me especially because Chrissy has been one that's come out in the public and you know spoke spoken about how people have messaged her treated her etc and she's done the same also it just to me is kind of like at some point in our lives we would want people to be kind to us and we've said guys be kind you know but then we've done behind closed doors we've cast people out and we've wished death on others so that's a bit strange now the fact that he's like i'm trying every day to love myself and forget this happen then how are you going to try and forget this happen when you're posting it out like you're literally reviving the situation so you're not trying to forget that it's happened you're bringing it back alive so i don't know what was the reason or what was the purpose of that because that doesn't really make sense because people are obviously not going to condone what chrissy did However, people are going to remember what an awful person, quote unquote, you are. Now, this long, lengthy apology that Chrissy put out, um, it seemed like she put it out on this platform called Medium, which you actually can monetize off. And a lot of people had an issue with that. Why is she posting an apology on Medium? Even though you do have to be a member for the person to monetize off it. However, a lot of people will obviously be reading this who are members and non-members. So to somewhat she could potentially monetize off of this apology this is where people have a problem with not only that but it seems like she's always apologizing so it's not taken too well it is a mess but guys i don't know what you guys think of this situation let me know your thoughts thank you for tuning in and i will speak to you guys in my next video <laughs>